The 2024 edition of the Wall Street Journal Magazine Innovator Award, an award that recognizes groundbreaking talents from a range of disciplines including fashion, art, literature, entertainment, architecture, philanthropy, to mention but a few was live at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. And as the red carpet was rolled out to honor our favorite innovators, we still were on the lookout for the fashions to be served on this red carpet for sure. Now, while some of our favorite innovators showed up looking really enchanting, others just gave us flops for fashions. So here are the top 10 Best and Worst Dress at the WHJ Innovator Awards 2024. Take a look. First up on our best dress list and starting out strong, we have the vocal goddess herself, Ariana Grande. And for the Innovator Awards, she had on this white lacy see-through strapless long dress by Vivian Westwood. And tonight, she was styled by the amazing Mimi Cottrell. And she looked really ethereal in this look on the red carpet for sure. And I was just living for every second of it. I mean, this look was just channeling that very Disney princess fairy tale fantasy in this look. And I think she ultimately just sold that fantasy to me for sure. Now, first of all, I love, love, love this look on her. I love the fabric it was made out of and i just love the structure that it ultimately just created i mean the proportions of the dress just felt really correct to me and i love that even though this dress in itself was giving me very bridal it still just felt like a show-stopping look worthy of a red carpet and i really have to appreciate that now i love the floral embroidery that we see throughout the dress i think that in itself just made for a more dimensional look and i see it and i love it now for styling she has opted to pair this look with a pair of white palms just to match the dress and diamond jewelries and i think that it all just really worked for a really cohesive look i'll definitely be asking ariana what she was doing here but it was clear that she came to serve the glamour and serve she ultimately did so yeah this look by ariana grande has to be a hot for me next up on our list we have the super iconic penelope cruz and for the innovator awards 2024 she had on this gray cow neck long dress with a slit by dolce and gabbana and tonight she was styled by the incredible michael feluzzi and what a stunning dress she had on tonight for this red carpet i mean this look in itself was just channeling that very you know old hollywood classic type glamour and i think that she just put it off so beautifully now i love this deep gray color on her and i just love 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 the way the dress was just hitting all the right marks on her body i mean the dress looks fitted for the gods and it just really accentuated her beautiful figure in such a nice way now i also just love this cow neck detail that we see on the dress i think the way it just really slightly exposed her cleavage was so sexy and i was here for that now talking about sexy let's talk about this thigh high slit i mean oh my god that was just bonkers in on itself she was serving us sexy she was serving us sultry and i think she slid the house down in this look tonight for sure now i also just love her hair tonight and i just love the styling of this dress with the clutch bag and the silver sandal heels i thought this was a really cohesive look tonight for sure miss cruz definitely did not come to play with the girlies tonight she came to serve nothing but glamour so this look has to be a hot for me up next on our list we have the legendary beauty salma hayek and for the Innovator Awards 2024, she had on this red crepe strapless long dress by Balenciaga and she looks absolutely gorgeous in this dress on the red carpet for sure now first of all i'm really just obsessed with the color of this dress on her i mean this shade of red just looks so beautiful on her and it just had a very nice contrast on the red carpet i also just love that even though the style of this look was a bit simple it still had certain details about it that just made it pop and stand out for me i mean just the way it fits was impeccable and the addition of those hip padding detailing just to make the dress even more exaggerated around the hip region was so very well done and i loved it i think that in itself just added a fun little detail but it still had such an elevated impact on the red carpet and i can appreciate that now the styling of this look was very minimal and sama just gave up that really effortless glamorous vibe tonight on the red carpet so yeah this look by sama definitely has to be a hot for me next up on our list we have the gorgeous gorgeous sarah paulson and for the innovator awards 2024 
She had on this white pattern off the shoulder midi dress by Marc Jacob from their Fall Winter 2024 ready to wear collection and tonight she was styled by the amazing Carla Welch and I absolutely just love this look on her and I just think that she nailed it on the red carpet tonight for sure. I mean just look at the structure of this dress I mean there was just something very high fashion about this look but at the same time it still felt very approachable and glamorous and I just think that those elements just coming together really just made this look even more fierce to me now I love this sort of like floral wax motif that we see on the dress I love how it just nips in at the waist area taking into consideration her proportions and I just love how it just jets out creating that bogan like illusion I think this look was super well executed and I think Sarah gets bonus points for that now I'm just obsessed with the shoes she has on tonight and I'm just really glad that she kept those shoes that the model had on for the runway I think that in itself just looks really great and it just portrayed the entire fashion essence of this look overall miss sarah definitely gagged us a bit with this look so it has to be a hot for me finally on our best dress list we have the ebony goddess aja wilson and for the innovator awards 2024 she had on this black and white two-piece by bauman and tonight she was styled by the super talented shiona torini and this is how you do a two-piece look and make it look like the most expensive thing to ever rock down the red carpet and i think she just really achieved that in this look for sure i mean fact or fact america she looks breathtakingly gorgeous in this look and i was leaving for every second of it now i love the structure on both the top and the long skirt i think there was just something very 3d artsy about this look and i think it just worked so well on this red carpet now the fit of this look was to die for the proportions were fire and i think she hit every single mark they used to hit for a really great look yeah i really did enjoy this look it was giving me sexy it was giving me very elegant and she definitely did her big one in this look for sure so yeah this look by aja has to be a hot for me first up on our worst dress list we have the wicked superstar cynthia erivo and for the innovator awards 2024 she had on this gray and green sort of like deconstructed ensemble by erdem from their spring summer 2025 ready to wear collection and tonight she was styled by the amazing jason boding and this was just a very weird look for me on the red carpet tonight for sure now first of all we all know how i just feel about her green looks that she's been serving for promotional purposes for the movie wicked i just feel like most of the looks are just a bit on the nose and very questionable when it comes to like the overall aesthetics and this look right here is definitely just a bit wonky for me and it just has me all the way confused i mean what even is this look i mean it had no structure it just did not flatter her body and maybe there was a story to this look however that story is definitely lost on me also the fabric element that we see on this look just made no sense to me overall from the polo fabric that we see up top to the random green fabric that we see just draped across the entire look to the stripy fabric that we see at the bottom part of this look it all just felt really chaotic coming together overall i just think that this look was a hot mess for me and i just could not get behind it so yeah this look by cynthia definitely has to be a chop for me next up on our list we have the statue x diva emily ratchet kwoski and for the innovators award 2024 she had on this white mini dress with written inscriptions by jw anderson and tonight she was styled by the beautiful emma jade morrison and i certainly just did not enjoy this look on emily tonight on the red carpet now first of all maybe i'm a bit biased but i'm just really not a fan of like written letters or inscription on clothing and obviously there are exceptions to this rule when those inscriptions are like done in a super artsy way however that is not the case with this look i mean the written inscription just felt really lazy it just looked like the writings were photocopied onto this look and honestly who's really going to have all the time to read all of that well not me also aside the writing on the dress which was really diabolical this dress was just a basic bore to me and i know that the message of this dress was supposed to you know evoke something really deep and meaningful but all that was just really lost on me so yeah i just did not love this look by emily i just did not care to read what was written so it has to be a chop for me 
Up next on our list, she is legally blonde. We have the beautiful Riz Witherspoon. And for the Innovators Award 2024, she had on this black crepe single sleeved midi dress by Mattis Visky. And this dress was just giving me very Donna from Suit Secretary Realness. And was I really leaving for that, especially for a red carpet? I really don't think so. I mean, it's the Innovator Awards, but there was just nothing really innovative or exciting about this look. And I just wasn't loving that about this look. I mean, a black basic midi dress isn't exactly the definition of red carpet glamour so this look a hundred percent has to be a chop for me next up on our list we have the super eccentric jordan roth and for the innovator awards 2024 he had on this black long dress with a 3d floral crops piece by noah kia nino Mia. and no this look was just not doing it for me on jordan on this red carpet for sure tonight i mean this look in itself just felt super crafty to me and it just felt like they tried to elevate the experience of this black dress so bad that it just added what looks like an art project gone wrong however to be honest i just would have preferred the black dress alone because this very interesting and wonky addition just looks really diabolical to me i mean it definitely looks like a colorful pinata and it just looks like if i strike him with a bat i'll definitely be getting some candy and i don't feel like that is what it was ultimately going for so yeah this look by jordan just looked a hot mess to me so it's gonna be a chop for me finally on our worst dress list we have the amazing john chu and for the Innovator Awards 2024, he had on this white blazer top, a pair of green khaki pants and a white inner shirt and this was just one mismatched disaster for me on the red carpet tonight for sure i mean trust the men to absolutely just give us nothing when it comes to like styling of the looks but this just felt really odd to me and i just couldn't look past that now i just maybe would have swapped out those green pants to a matching white one that way it would have just given the look more cohesion i also would have swapped out the shoes for maybe a black one so even though it's simple it's still very elevated and straight to the point i just feel like that in itself would have been more cohesive for me and it would have worked better however none of that eventually happened and this just looked a hot boo-boo mess so yeah this look by john definitely has to be a chop for me all right guys we have come to the ending of today's video in today's video i share with you guys my top 10 best and worst dress at the wall street journal magazine innovator awards if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i would definitely catch you guys in the next one but for now it is bye for now over